Hi everyone, Flaming Footy here, and welcome or welcome back to a YouTube viewer on the channel. And today, guys, we are going to be continuing our AFL 2023 fixture reactions. And in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to North Melbourne's 2023 AFL fixture. And my main question going into this one is: Is this fixture going to be enough to lift North Melbourne up off the bottom of the table? Now, surely it is time for North to get going off the bottom of the table. Uh, or off that bottom two area that they've been for the past couple of years. This year, it's got to be a 16th or higher finish. I'd be saying you'd really want to be getting out of the bottom four. So let's see if this fixture can possibly do that. All right, so of course, little checking up the top. We are well and truly getting through this series now. But teams like West Coast and the Western Bulldogs are still towards the end of the series. Uh, but anyway, just going to go ahead, hop right into things. And at the end of the video, we will hopefully answer that question as to whether this could be enough to lift North Melbourne, most importantly, off the bottom, but see how high they could potentially go this season. Uh, first game, though, North Melbourne versus West Coast at Marvel Stadium. Wouldn't be expecting too much out of this contest, but I, I probably would be expecting a good game. It's not like it's going to be high-class footy on show, but it should be a pretty good game um, this one anyway so yeah it's not like it's going to be a high class skillful footy it's probably going to be a bit of a scrappy mess at times I'd say but to be playoffs, I still would be expecting a pretty good contest from this one. So round two is Fremantle versus North Melbourne and Optus. Um, North Melbourne playing both the Perth teams, or both the Western Australian teams, sorry should I say, to start off the 2023 AFL season. And Oh, this is going to be a really tough one to win. I wouldn't see them winning this one, to be completely honest. Fremantle at home, you don't really know what you're going to expect from them, but I could not see them losing to North Melbourne at home. Really couldn't see that happening. Round three, Hawthorne versus North Melbourne at Utah Stadium. Now, Alistair Clarkson goes up against his former side in this contest, which shapes to be quite an intriguing, ma uh, in, 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 intriguing matchup, sorry. Uh, which this should be a pretty good game as well. These two sides, relatively around the same area, I'd say. Probably around the same ladder position as well. I, f I feel like this could be a really good game between these two sides. Of course, the um, Alistair Clarkson rivalry is going to have this one really, really get interesting. And I feel like this could be a really good game. Again, just like North Melbourne versus West Coast, I would not be expecting anything special from this game, I'd be expecting a close game, but I wouldn't be expecting high-class footy because these two teams probably wouldn't bring high-class footy. But I would be expecting a very good game for this one because this one looks to be a mouth watering matchup. So round four is North Melbourne versus Carlton in the Good Friday game. Now, this was always previously North Melbourne versus Western Bulldogs for the past couple of years. It has changed. I'm not quite sure why the real reason was. One of the debated reasons was because the uh, Western Bulldogs kept on smashing North Melbourne. I don't see how Carlton's going to be much different. This should be a pretty comfortable win for the Blues. However, it's still good to see North Melbourne on the occasion. Round five, of course, is Magic Round. North Melbourne playing a very tough team. Brisbane versus North Melbourne, the Adelaide Hills. Now, obviously, both these sides don't play there. But again, it's going to be a small ground. So I reckon both these sides should be at least looking to try and get at least above 60. I reckon this like could be a game that you go maybe like 170 to like maybe like 64 or something. This could be a really high scoring game with the two sides. Could definitely combine over 200 points at the Adelaide Hills. Or it could be a really sloppy game. But either way, I'd still be expecting Brisbane to win this one by a pretty big margin. Um... Yeah, expecting Brisbane to win that one by a pretty big margin. So Gold Coast versus North Melbourne is round six. Uh, Sunday afternoon footy at Metricon Stadium. And Metricon Stadium is actually in the past couple of years, well, especially in 2022, has become a tougher place to play for many sides. Obviously, with Gold Coast in finals contention again this year as they were last year, this is going to be a tough place to play in 2023. Considering North Melbourne, they are... Uh, not very good up there. I would be saying this should be a win for the Suns. So round seven, North Melbourne are in some prime time for the action here on a Saturday night. Melbourne versus North Melbourne at the MCG. Now, good to see that North Melbourne are at least getting a couple of prime time games here and there on Channel 7. Um, again, though, I wouldn't be expecting anything special from this game. Melbourne should be able to um, pretty comfortably smash them in that one. Round eight, North Melbourne versus St Kilda at Marvel Stadium. And, I don't know, this could be a better game than what we think. St Kilda, we really don't know about them yet in 2023. I reckon you've really got to know their first couple of games and know the results to them as to know how you could probably base them for the 2023 season. I feel like they could either go really far up or really far down. I doubt they'll be going any higher than about 8th, and I really could see them falling right down that ladder in that bottom 6th territory. 
St Kilda, we don't know how they're going to be in 2023. So really, this game is almost impossible to explain. A lot of St Kilda games this year have been quite hard to explain just because we don't know how they're going to be. Max King's going to be missing the season. So that probably does, well, not the season, but going to be missing a little bit. That does give um, that does give North Melbourne a sniff in this one. Uh, but yeah, when it comes to St Kilda fixture reaction, that's going to be a very interesting one. So round nine... Oh boy, this one is going to be good. North Melbourne versus Port Adelaide at Blunston Arena. Now again, the two sides, the two the two sides playing each other is not a very interesting game, and I doubt this one will be. However, all this on Jason Horn Francis does make this a very interesting one. They will go after him a lot. Will North Melbourne? They will be going after Jason Horn Francis a lot. Uh, I reckon there'll def- definitely be a couple of fights in that one for sure. This one right here. Um, but look, I reckon this is still going to be a pretty poor game. But the uh, rivalry, of course, pick one, Jason North Francis, after one season moves to Port Adelaide. There, there's going to be um, yeah, sparks flying all around this one. But again, I'd be expecting a pretty big win for the power. But North Melbourne, they will know this is a massive occasion. Can they step up and win this one? So round 10 is North Melbourne versus Sydney at Marvel Stadium. Now, Sydney at Marvel Stadium aren't actually the best side, to be completely honest. And North Melbourne in 2022, later on in the season, actually put up a really good fight against the Swans. Now, again, the, the Swans, we know they've made a grand final and would have been pretty good, so I'd be expecting them to win this one. Round 11, Collingwood versus North Melbourne at Marvel. Look, this is North Melbourne's chance. It does not come much better, much bigger and better. Potentially much easier than this. Collingwood versus North at Marvel. This is their chance. They have to absolutely win this game. And if not win, they've really got to contend. That They can't lose this game by more than 20 points. It's at Marvel Stadium and it's Collingwood at Marvel. Um, Collingwood, they got thumped by the Bulldogs. They lost to West Coast. They are really bad at Marvel Stadium. So this North Melbourne, this has got to be a good game for them. They've at least got to contend. and They cannot lose this game by a big margin. And this is their chance for a really big upset and a really big win for them as well. So round 12, they have back-to-back chances at wins here. Essendon versus North Melbourne at Marvel. And again, I would not rule them out of this one either. I feel like they could definitely be Essendon as well. Essendon and North Melbourne, again, about the same spot. Essendon, I'd probably rate them a little bit higher than North Melbourne. But look, I do think North Melbourne are a genuine chance. Oh my goodness, North Melbourne have a chance to win three games in a row. North Melbourne versus GWS at Blunston Arena. North Melbourne have got to take on these games and they've got to make sure they win at least two of three, I've got to say. Two of three they have to win because, yeah, these are three games that they really should be able to win two or three. Well, yeah, definitely two of them. North Melbourne versus GWS at Blunston Arena. The Giants, I don't think they'll be great at Blunston. I feel like North Melbourne, this is their chance to go ahead and pick up a couple of wins in this patch versus Collingwood Essendon and GWS. Uh, the Collingwood game at Marvel gives them a good chance. Essen and GWS aren't the best of sides, so I feel like North Melbourne should definitely be able to contend with these sides. So at round 14 is North Melbourne versus Western Bulldogs at Marvel Stadium, which I don't think this will be a great game. This will just be a bit of a dead rubber game. The Dogs should be able to comfortably win. Round 15 is their bye, and in, and in round 16, they travel to the Adelaide over to play the Adelaide Crows, which they actually put up a really good fight late in 2022. Uh, ben Cunnington's re- re- inspirational return from cancer, and um, and yeah, they they played really well. Uh, apart from that fourth quarter where they didn't put anything on the board, uh, the Crows will be able to win this game comfortably, considering that they absolutely need to do something. They need to start rising up that ladder now. Uh, Geelong versus North Melbourne at GMHBA Stadium. Yeah, the North Melbourne aren't a chance in that one. So here we go, North Melbourne versus Hawthorne at Marvel Stadium. This is game number two of Alistair Clarkson meeting his former side. And I reckon North will win one of them, Hawthorne will win the other. This is going to be another really good game. Um, yeah, I think this will be a, another really good game. The two sides are around the same uh, point, And yeah, I feel like that'll be a good game. St Kilda versus Marvel. Uh, St Kilda versus North Melbourne. Again, not really sure where the Saints are going to be at by um, like round 20 in 2023. But again, this could be a better game. Maybe not. Not quite sure. So to end off the season, North Melbourne have quite a difficult run home um, in those last few rounds, starting off with West Coast versus North Melbourne and Optus Stadium. And again, you'd probably think they'd be able to beat West Coast. I reckon they could beat West Coast at Marvel. They could beat West Coast at Blunston. They could beat West Coast at the MCG even. I don't think they could beat West Coast at Optus, though. I feel like Optus, West Coast 
aren't necessarily a different team, but they do play better at Optus considering it's their home ground. So I feel like West Coast will win that one. North Melbourne versus Melbourne at Blunston. Even though it is at Blunston, I don't really feel like that'll help too much against Melbourne. So I'd see Melbourne winning that one pretty comfortably. North Melbourne versus Essendon at Marvel. I would see Essendon winning that one as well. Essendon could definitely win both games versus North Melbourne. But look, again, I reckon those those two could be a little bit closer. Um, and then Richmond versus North Melbourne at the MCG. If this was at Marvel, this would be another big chance to claim big ups, a big up, upset. But it, considering it's the MCG, Tigers are so, so good there. I would see that being unlikely. And the last game, which might be a little bit decent, North Melbourne versus Gold Coast at Blunston Arena. I don't know. Could be okay, but I'd see Gold Coast winning that one. So... Pretty much cast a prediction for most of these games. And do I see this being the fixture that North Melbourne can try and rise up? I don't see them finishing bottom in this fixture. I feel like it's a GWS, a Hawthorne um, that could finish bottom perhaps. Or even a West Coast that could finish bottom in 2023. But key point here for North Melbourne is that they've got a, a decent start in their first three games to start off the year. They've got to at least win one of them to have a good start. And then I feel like down here... Uh, right here, Collingwood, Essendon and GWS. Those are some really big chances there to get a couple of wins on the board for North Melbourne. I feel like Collingwood um, in round 11, round 12, Essendon round 13, GWS. They've got to capitalise on those games to, um, yeah, if not contend, maybe fix up percentage and and um, really show the competition that they can win a couple more games in 2023. And I feel like that three there is really going to be a big indication because if they lose all three, well, their season is in trouble and their ladder position is in heaps of trouble. So I feel like their season, how, how it finishes, will rest solely on those three games as those are three games that they should be definitely competing in in 2023, Collingwood, Essendon and GWS. Not that one down if you want to, but thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Sending guys to Nevis and love you on the channel. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Bye everyone. Flaming footy out.